right, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video today. So today's video, we're gonna be working with a Yozuri Twitch Bait, which I got in my hand right here. Um, it, it looks very similar to a Miradine, very, very similar. And I'm pretty sure the action is the exact same. Uh, so we're gonna do a little comparison. I threw a Miradine, I don't know, five to 10 videos back and uh, we slayed, we caught a ton of fish on it. It was a lot of fun. So I'm curious to see how this Yozuri does. Um, I did grab this on Carl's Bane Tackle. They are the sponsor of today's video. So if you guys will go ahead and check them out, there's a link at the top of the description. Um, you can grab this lure as well as a ton of other stuff. I get a lot of my lures from there. They got things for freshwater, saltwater. They even got things for ice fishing if somehow you, uh, you're an ice fisherman, but please do go ahead and check them out. They're a big supporter of the channel and uh, hopefully we'll get, we'll get some good fish today. We're gonna look for redfish, trout, tarpon, snook. Could be anything. Good thing about these little baits is there's plenty of different fish that'll eat them. We'll probably catch even a mangrove snapper um, on one today and it should be a lot of fun. So um, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and uh, let's hop right into it today, guys. All right, oh. found our first fish of the day. It's a micro, but I'll take it. I about put the rod down there for a second to grab my water and this fish just slammed it. Micro. And he flashes the camera. Oh man, did you guys see that wake? It was like a 30 that had been falling and falling and falling and like the second I went to pull it out of the water, he kind of spooked off it. I guess because he must have saw me or just noticed that it came out of the water. <sighs> All right, real random, but check this out. I definitely have the wrong lens on right now, but I did not know this was gonna happen today. There she is. Sick. Get the fish out of the mud. Getting a little bit bigger. <laughs> All right, so as you can see there, a little bit of change of pace from our last video. Little snook, a little bit bigger than the first one. Probably only 16, 17 inches, but you know, you can't catch the 40s every single day. On the Yozuri, it's doing some work right now. Hopefully we'll run into a giant here soon, but let's keep going. There's a the fish. Don't get in the tree, don't get in the tree. There we go. That's like second cast at a new spot here. At least a new area. It's basically just a mangrove shoreline, but we're getting like one inch bigger at a time with each fish. God, I hate triple hooks. <laughs> All right. Well, snook number three of the day on our Yozuri Twitch bait. Still tiny. I think eventually I'm gonna find a bigger one here. I feel good about this spot. All right guys, so we're gonna continue this video tomorrow. I only had uh, like three or four follow-ups from Snook and uh, Tarpon after those, whatever, three or four small Snook I caught today. So we're gonna continue tomorrow with uh, the same lure, but switch to a different pattern. I'm gonna throw the mullet pattern I have and see if that is able to uh, catch any more fish than it did today. But it's about 12 o'clock right now, super hot, and I just don't see myself getting, um, you know, a good fish from here on out. So see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> All right, so we're throwing the same lure today. Just switched over to a mullet pattern. Um, should work. And uh, hopefully we'll get something bigger than we did yesterday. Oh, big fish on me. Got him. <laughs> Not as big as I thought, but wow, you made a huge wake. Came out, under, out from under that tree. All 
All right, snook number one of the day, probably 20 inches and the biggest of the video so far. We just keep getting, keep getting these small snook. Maybe we'll, uh, I want to get a redfish or a trout or just something different, but they, uh, they really like this little, this little twitch bait. I saw that huge wake uh, whip all around the lure as I was pulling it out of the tree and I knew something was chasing, I just didn't know what, and then felt some weight on there and I knew he had grabbed it. All right, it's a start to the day. After about a, maybe 40 minutes of throwing mangrove, finally found a fish. I'll take it though. Really good colors on this Yozuri. I'll give them that, and I think the difference between I know this looks a lot like a Miradine and it's pretty much this pretty much the same idea. Um, it does work a bit different. I know the Miradine when you pull it, it'll just quick like a quick flash and twist like that and keep its body pretty, you know, straightforward like that. This will give that flash and dart left to right. Um, and I think that, that that looks pretty good. I, I couldn't tell you if that makes it better than the Miradine. I guess you just simply have to ask a fish that. Um, but it is working. It is working. That's a good fish. Oh, better snook. <laughs> Maybe not, dude. I, they hit so hard. I keep thinking they're a big snook, and they're not. It's these 18 inches that are killing this thing. He came from under the dock that time. Oh, two fish in a five minute period. That's good. We're finding them. Let's see if I can grab this guy without hooking myself. One thing I don't love about treble hooks is they are so dangerous, especially with these snook that the second you grab them, they shake their head really hard. All right, got one out. All right, we're good. Snook number five or six of this video. God, these these little guys just killed that uh, the Yozuri, but back in the water, keep it going. I will absolutely catch all these fish or catch the fish these size all day long. I'm perfectly happy with that we have a hurricane that's right around the corner so gotta get my fishing in now and uh i think tomorrow maybe the next day i'm not quite sure when the hurricane hits but uh there will be one coming and for those of you guys who live in florida it can be pretty bad it'll definitely uh keep you off the water for um, probably a week How did I know? I saw that little overhang right there. It looked like a great spot for a fish to be. All right, I think that is the biggest snook of the video right there, probably 22 inches or so. They are clapping that uh, that little Yozuri. There, it's uh, bites, bites turning on, I think. Hopefully these fish are getting their last few meals in before this hurricane starts blowing 400 miles an hour. But back in the water he will go, and uh, let's catch some more. Came out super easy. All right, bud. See ya. Oh, yep, 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 got him. Troy motor's not helping me out here. Oh, there we go fish missed it swung on it two or three times when I pulled it off that branch I had it stuck in the branch there and flicked it off and then fish swung on it two or three times but that's kind of what I've been looking for Whew. all right so finally got our little redfish of the day probably only 18 inches or so but I've been really trying hard to find one I mean I've just been throwing the mangroves and mangroves and just just snook after snook but finally we got one so I guess we're two thirds of the way of a slam today. Maybe we'll find a trout here. We'll go ahead and release this guy and uh, another one on the little Yozuri bait.
Oh, big trout, big trout, big trout. Big, big, big trout. Holy crap. Oh gosh. I thought it was the tarpon. Very big trout. Oh man. Not the tarpon I was looking for, but that's a big trout. Oh man. It's a big fish on the ruler real quick. Zero, 21 inch. All right, 21 inch trout to complete the inshore slam for today. What a beast, man. I, uh, I thought it was gonna be a tarpon when he ate it because he was bright and flashy, but. Sick fish either way. We're gonna go ahead and get him unhooked back in the water. And we'll grab him just like that under his uh, gills and pop this one out. <sighs> Whew. What a giant, man. Especially great fish for um, for an artificial lure. 21 inch trout, I'll take it. There it goes. Crazy, right? It took three, four casts into those uh, same tree, same spot to get meat. Well, I'll keep going, but inshore slim, let's go. Big trout. Jesus, another big one. He absolutely inhaled that. I don't even see the lure right now. I can't even see the lure. <sighs> big trout number two of the day. Check that guy out. Probably uh, another 20 inch or so. Beautiful. I can't even see the lure. I'm gonna have to use pliers to get it out of this guy's mouth, but awesome fish. Look how big that tail is. Really pretty. Whew. All right, back in the water you go. Man, absolutely inhaled that thing. Right. Back in the water you go. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Eating today, man, they are eating. All right, guys, well, the Yozuri Twitch Bait absolutely killed it today. We caught pretty much everything besides what a, a tarpon. We got the inshore slam, missed out on the grand slam, um, but that's okay. We, we caught a bunch of fish anyway, and this hurricane's coming, so it was good to, good to get some fish right before it uh, runs through Florida. But I'm gonna go ahead and head home now. If you guys wanna check out Carl's Bait and Tackle, uh, you can grab that Yozuri as well as like a ton of different colors for that bait. Other Yozuri Twitch baits, bunch of saltwater stuff, bunch of freshwater stuff, whatever type of fisherman you are, you can find it on Carl's Bait and Tackle. So they are a big help to the channel, a big sponsor of the channel, and I would appreciate it if you just go take a look at the website. But that's all I got for today, guys. Stay safe during the hurricane, and uh, I'll see you guys in that next video.